Yeah, I think. I, oh, I have one more thing. Someone <laughs> called me just before I left. He was working hard. Uh, the this has to do with the beach also. What is happening that um, there was a, an altercation of, of residents that live on the corner of um, 101 and Ocean Boulevard that uh, they're trying to get rid of the sand that's in front of their oh, place. Now who's okay. going to be picking that up? Should the state be doing that? It's on the sidewalk and it's high. This is 101 and Ocean Boulevard? Yes. So 101 Church and Street. Ocean Boulevard. Church Street, yeah. Church Street. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Church Street is is a compact road. Mm -hmm. We're responsible for that. Urban compact. In the past, of course, that sand all came from the state road. Okay? Yeah. In the uh -huh. past, the state has cleaned that up. Uh -huh. That's but what I'm I told gonna, them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to question because I've heard nothing yet about the state doing any cleanup where their sand has gone off onto town roads. In the past, we've insisted they do that. Yeah. Well, it's something that we have to discuss because they're not the only ones. As I drove along, I went down there to check before I came here tonight. Yeah. And in front of the condos to the north of the lighthouse, there's sand all over there. So somebody's got to clean it up. And if it's the state is responsible for this, they need to be. To, we. It's again. It's one of those problems about the sidewalks, and I'm sure there are many others. The rocks are everywhere. Oh yeah. And uh, I saw people picking them up today, but I'm not so sure that they're. Uh, people from the state and I uh, personally I think the state ought to be picking those rocks up and throwing them over the wall because they're going to just have to buy some and put them there at some point. More than likely that's true. Because everybody's picking them up for their yard and, we, and building fireplaces. We're going to have a problem this year with, with sweeping the beach because of the new EPA requirements. Yeah. If we sweep the beach as we have done be, before because the state would not do it we have to have each of those loads tested before we can dispose of them. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, my, my solution to that is that I'm going to ask the state where they would like us to dump it on their property so they can test it. Yes. Because I, I don't have thousands of dollars in my budget to test each load of, of uh, sweeping yep. off the state highway. They, they need to buy their own sweeper and they need to do that work. It's their highway. Good. Uh, we, we, I don't we can provide the information to them. We can provide the material to them. But I don't have the money to test it. And it's going to have to be tested. Each load's going to have to be tested, is my understanding. Wow. Mm -hmm. So it's, a, it's an expensive proposition to do. So I just I think somehow we have to work out some cooperative effort between us. Uh, or we may be in a position of not being able to sweep that, that ocean boulevard, mm. which I don't want to see happen because it's going to be a real mess down there if we don't. Mm -hmm. So this, And we should put all these other streets that, that are on the side that are now full of sand, and I, I've looked at them, they are full of sand, uh, on that same list. Mm -hmm. They should be cleaning those up. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'll tell you, every single time it rains, mud hits my building, from comes off the road. Yeah. I sweep it right back into the road. Yeah. Good. And it usually floats down and goes in the sewer. It's probably going up to this uh, new drain problem that we have. <coughs> probably going to spend two months this year just cleaning our own drains on our side streets off of Ocean Boulevard that are now full of sand and then have to flush all the lines in between them because they're full of sand too. Mm -hmm. So those are some issues that we've got to start paying attention to. We do. Mary Thank Louise. You.